Hello, this is 8-Bit Rach with another Amstrad game review and this one was a request by Jack Hacken on YouTube and again this was a video that was requested weeks ago so I am just catching up with him so again apologies so he's asked me to have a go with Trailblazer um, came out in 1986 on the 8-Bits and you can see from the picture there that it's similar to another game but I can't bloody think of it the name's just escaped me so um this music's a bit crazy in it basically you have to sort of get the ball along that track um avoiding the holes and other obstacles so let's just get on with the game uh, i think options right there is like a little training area as well, but I have done that while I was oh, fucking not a good start in it. I thought you could use QAOP with this. I thought I did when I tested it out, but it's not bloody working now. So I'm trying to use the new medical keypad, but it's a bit awkward to be honest with you. So you're on a time limit, I think. Don't think. Oh shit! Don't think you are on the training one. Oh god, I've got literally like one second. Come on, game over. Right, well that didn't do very. Right, you can press M to put the music off. I think I will because it is driving me a bit bloody mad to be honest with you. So yeah, I mean. The game's nice and colourful, the graphics simple enough, they, you know, they do the job. It's a nice fast paced game. Um, it's a nice simple concept, but it is one of them that's quite addictive actually. It's just not one that I'm very good at because you have to have quick reactions and that's... I've not got quick reactions at the best of times, but trying to talk and play this is a bit of a... Ah, oh, shit, you know. It's a bit of a non-starter for me. Ah, oh, still not bloody done it. Right, try again. It is one of them, though, if, if you play it a few times. Oh, for fuck's sake, I always fall in that first bastard hole. Once you've played it a few times, you sort of learn the track a bit so you can move into the right position. Do you know what I mean? But it doesn't help as well that I'm talking while I'm doing it. Like I said, my reactions aren't the best anyway, but I'm trying to do this and talk. Ah! It's always the same fucking thing I do, innit? Oh, shit in hell. I can't seem to. These keys are awkward. I know I'm like, you know bad workman blames his tools and all that but I could have sworn I used QAOP but oh hang on if you put the number thing off you can I thought I'd done it right hang on let's hope now we have a bit more success that's less awkward by miles yeah so with the number lock on it's the number pad And if you switch that off, you can use keyboard. Thought it's gone bloody mad. Oh shit. The only thing with that is if you press M by mistake when you press the space bar, the bloody music comes on. Ah! Right, start again. Fresh start now. Come on, Rach. I can do this. Well, I always fall down that first hole, and I haven't this time, so it's looking all right, isn't it? Well, you can see some of the tiles, the white ones, they force you to jump if you step on them. The green ones slow you down. Um, the others, I've not seen, you know, what their properties are, really. I don't know if there is any difference with them. Ah, shit. 
Ah! Quick, over this side! Ah! Bloody hell, quick! I've got like two seconds left! Yes, I've done it! So... I think in the training one... Oh shit! You... There's no timer! Oh, friggin' hell! What happened there? Oh, I do that every bloody time and all. Come on. Oh, I think sometimes this is a bit off in terms of, you know, you miss the um, holes, but somehow you drop in them. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I mean, most of the time it is just me being crap. But yeah, it's nice and colourful. The controls are really good. It does move really well. Nice and smooth and it's responsive. Um, it's a simple concept. It is a very fast-paced game. You can slow down, but then... You know, you... You are against the clock and to be honest if you want to be in with any chance at all of completing this you have to go full whack really so yeah it's full it's fast paced someone like me well you can see i'm bloody rubbish at playing it so they've done better that time three seconds left ah green one slow you down. Whoa! There we go. See professional now. Ah shit, I spoke too soon. And that first jump after you lose that shit, lose a life, you get slowed down so you don't always make that first jump. Ah, oh, friggin' hell. Ah, jump over this, you bastard. Oh, friggin' hell. I'm not going to get over this now, am I? Oh, pissing hell. Yeah. It's a good little game, that. It's good for a... You know. Quick little five-minute blast. Um, it is quite addictive, though, having said that. So it's one of them you might spend, you know, find yourself spending quite a bit of time on. I'd come back to that, definitely. You know, you want to keep sort of... It's one of them where you know you're at the end. And you just think, oh, if it was just a second quicker, I could have done it. So you want to have another go and, you know, do it. But it is, it's got that frustration as well. Uh yeah, I enjoyed it though. The music's a bit crazy making, so I did have to switch that off. But yeah, at least you've got that option. So I'd, I'd say if you've not played it, I'd, I'd recommend giving it a go. Uh, like I said, there is another game like it, and I can't remember it for the life of me. And I watched somebody do a review of it, I'm sure. But anyway, yeah, give it a go. See what you think, and... If you've already played it, let me know what you thought of it. So I'll leave this here. Thank you very much and thank you, Jack, for the suggestion. And take care of yourselves. Bye now.